Hi everyone. In this video I will be demonstrating how to use the reshape command in Stata in order to restructure your data set from wide format to long format. This is an important thing to know how to do particularly in those cases when you're working with uh, panel data or cross-sectional data with repeated measurements on one or more of the variables that you are seeking to analyze. So for example, if you want to uh, perform some type of panel regression analysis, you'll need to have your data in long format before you can actually do that analysis. Now obviously if your data is already in long format, then there's no need to perform any type of restructuring. But uh, in those cases where the data is in wide format, that's where you'll need to, um, to do that uh, restructuring. So before I get started, I want to mention that underneath the video description you'll find uh, links to two Stata data files and uh, that I'm going to be working with in this demonstration. So you can download a copy of those data files to follow along. And uh, so in the first data file we have airline data and uh, basically we have an airline identifier, this airline ID variable right here. We have repeated measurements on cost. So you can see right here that we have cost 70 through cost 73. Then we have output 70 through 73. Then fuel 70 to 73. And then load 70 to 73. So if we want to take a quick look at the data itself, we'll just go under the um, uh, data editor right here and you can take a look at it. So you can see that we have six rows of data that are um, that are uh, represented right here. Each row represents data associated with a given airline and the variables uh, that you see in the data set um, we have different variables uh, with measurements on those variables at different time points. So we have cost in 1970, cost in 1971, cost in 1972, cost in 1973, then we have output during the years 70 through 73, then we have uh, fuel 70 through 73, and then we have load 70 through 73. So, um, so if we again, if we want to perform an analysis such as like a panel regression, then we're going to need to restructure this data, which is currently in wide format into long format. So to do that, we're going to click out of this, and we'll go down to the command line, and we're going to type reshape. So that's our fundamental command. And we need to specify whether we are reshaping from wide to long format or long to wide format. So I'm going to type long because we're reshaping from wide format to long format. Next, we're going to be typing in uh, the root names uh, for di the different variables that are represented, they, each of them with, uh, with their respective time signatures. Again, we have our time signatures of 70, 71, 72, 73. So I'll type in uh, the basically the root name uh, uh, cost right here for the first one then output for the second one then fuel for the third one and then we'll type in load for the fourth one so next we'll type a comma in and then we're gonna type I and then inside the parenthesis uh, here we're gonna type in the identifier variable so our identifier variable associated with each airline is airline ID so it's not particularly descriptive but or maybe it's a little overly descriptive but I'll type in airline ID alright so we're not done yet though next we're gonna type in a J and inside the next parenthesis we're gonna give a name for the variable that's going to contain the 70 through 73, basically our time signatures. So in this case, I'll type in year. I'm just going to give that, the, that's going to be the name of that new variable that's going to be included in our data set. So we'll uh, press enter. And so now you can see that the reshaping has taken place. So you can see a description of the data under wide format as opposed to long format. So under wide format, we had six observations representing the six airlines. And in wide format, now this is the number of rows contained in that data set. The number of variables in the wide format was 17. Under long format, we have six and so forth. So now let's take a quick look at the data set. So if we go to data editor right here again, now you can see we have our variable airline ID. And uh, basically then you can see we have values of one representing the first airline, values of two over the next four rows representing the second one. Then we have values of three for the third and so forth. So you can see that rows one through uh, one, 
1 through 4 represent uh, data on the first airline, you can see that we have a year right here, which is uh, identifying the year in which we're measuring um, our variables for cost, output, fuel, and load. So again, this is for airline one, year 70 through 73, for each of our four variables. Then we have airline two uh, from 70 through 73 with measurements on our four variables and so forth. Okay, so now let's open up the second data set. It's actually just a slight variation on the first one. In this case, uh, what I've done is just instead of using 70 through 73, now I've got cost 1, cost 2, cost 3, and cost 4. So basically those are just um, serving as um, indicators of measurement occasions. So we would do the same thing in this case. We can just type in uh, reshape right here, long. Uh, we'll type in cost, uh, output, fuel, and then uh, load right here, comma, I, we have to have our identifier variable, which is airline ID, and then J, I'll just call this time, uh, you know, just to reflect the, our measurement occasion. And so when I press enter, you can see that um, the restructuring has taken place, and uh, you can see that uh, the data is in fundamentally the same uh, organization as it was previously. Instead of using year, I've got time right here as my index variable. So basically that's all there is to it in terms of uh, using the reshape command in order to restructure our data from wide format to long format. Thanks for watching.